He left the level. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Again, it remembers your collection progress. You're right. That is a thing that is different between the N64 and this. So no matter what, as long as you collect it, you're fine. In the original, it wouldn't remember what notes you got. You would have to get all of them in one shot no matter what. You would be even more mad at me. Why? Because I would have lost all the jiggies. Or not the jiggies, the notes. No, yeah, that's what you always lose is the notes. You always keep the jiggies. Yeah. That was never a thing you you would have to go recollect the jiggies. But you would like, have to re-get the notes. It's, it's mostly an issue with some of the really hard levels, because there are some really hard levels mm. in this game. This is a fairly easy, but it's a it's a it's a ramp up in difficulty. Yeah. Largely because of the underwater swimming you have to do. And there's more than you have to do than this that is um we'll say close. Also he likes to look at you. Alright. Also he's not even a shark, he's got a blowhole. Yeah. He's a dolphin with really sharp teeth. He's the and gills. Garbage disposal if I remember right. Yeah. This is what Grunty does with the trash. This is a big old trash can, by the way. Hmm. All right. All right. So this time... Don't you, fuck up. You gotta get the bubbles. You had it right, and then you drifted to the right. You had it perfectly. So how you actually release him is you swim through that little key ring. All right. Like three times. Missed it. <laughs> Are you using the bumper to help steer? No. I would... Remember, A is a good way to stop yourself from moving. B is a good way to, like, accelerate yourself. Hey, I got some air. You get two air bubbles for going into the bubble. There you go. Up a little. There you go. I'll go through there. And don't forget to also get the Jinjo and also get the nose while you're down here. If you at least collect everything and release him, you can die happy. Okay. The speedrunners will just go into that little like keyhole and just kind of like float in the middle left and right, and it'll just hmm. do it'll just do all the checks. His name is Gloop. Grab all your bubbles if you're low on air. If, if I can. Number A will slow yourself down pretty well. And then there you go. Okay, you're getting it. You're doing good. No, I'm not. Because there's like... don't worry. There's even worse swimming. This is the swimming tutorial area. I know there was a swimming tutorial area earlier, but this is when you actually have to get good at it. There you go. Nope, past it. I would wait. I would just go to the next one. I wouldn't chase after the one because going directly up or directly down is near impossible. You always pretty much have to go straight into it. So. Nope, just go to the next one. There you go. Going too quick. You're going ahead of them. All right. Yay. Hey, yeah, you're getting it. I can't wait for us to have to like stop halfway and then you have to forget how to you're gonna forget how to do all of this well. Yep. Yay! Okay, then you have to get all the notes and get the ginger and then you're done down here forever. Alright. Hey, I got an achievement. Yes. But that is not the hardest thing to have to do in the water. Not by a long shot. There's stuff that is probably equally as hard to get. Awesome. Hey guys, fresh air. And then there's also a Jinjo by the base of the anchor right there. Help! Never tap A to break. And maybe we'll get some air. Because you pretty much need two to get all the way up. You kind of see what I mean about just ignoring the one that you yeah. missed and just go ahead. It's a lot easier. So don't forget that you missed one in that circle. Yeah. Because it's very easy to be like, I got them all, and then you leave, and then you did not get them all, and you have to come back down, and you're like, where's the last one? But I think after this one, you can head up, and you'll be good to rock and roll. There we go. All right, go up. Get out of here. I kind of like the spooky-sounding music where it's just like... <laughs> The, or is that high pitched part not? All that's right. like for that's part of the music for being down there. That is, ah. is. Alright, you did it. Yay. You did one of those difficult things. 
Like that, like, blood gash on his robot fish. Yeah. That was one of the things people were like, oh, his design is terrifying. It's like... He's meant to be disgusting, not terrifying, but... Yeah. I don't know. I was never put off by him as a kid. I don't know why. He was always just like, oh, he's friendly. Yeah, the only thing that, like, ever, like, was like, oh, man, that's terrifying is the piano in Mario 64. Yeah, that's terrifying. Yes. That... I also don't like the eel. Yes. The like eels... That, that definitely contributed to me having thalassophobia. Like, hmm. that shit freaks me out. Also, um, so easy, easy things to do is you ride that bolt up, or you can go up his um, his tail fin. You're right next to the bolt, and you're turning around. Well, because I gotta wait for the bolt to come back. It already... It was back. You'd have to stand there. I'm stupid. And be ready to move once it gets up to the top. There you go. And then Ooh. don't fall. Well, you see, I am bad at pla- Better what? Hi, Clanker. How you doing? I go is I Again, I, I love the, the, the design philosophy of this game is like, pretty basic intro area. Massive. Second world's not too bad, just like a beachy, piratey level. Yeah. And then this. This is world three. Yeah. Is this nonsense. And it is... I mean... I, Which I, is great. Yeah, I get it. Like, I completely understand, like, oh, yeah, you're ramping up the difficulty and just being, like, more stuff. Right, and, and you were like, you know, this isn't just a normal platformer with, like, your ice level, your fire level, your, your this level, your that level. No, yeah. this is a theme that is not something that any other game does. No. Of a giant robot fish trash can. Yeah. All right. And it is not the only level like this. That it has a extremely unique design behind it you can just jump straight in water uh there's no fall damage if you jump into water hmm. okay and um if you while falling pace your double jump and then your attack you'll be able to resist uh fall damage by just hmm. timing it well but if you wait too late you'll enter like a free fall animation and you'll just take damage like that see that what he starts flailing yeah that's free fall you have no control besides movement but if you get used to like the falling depths i guess You'll yeah. be able to prevent fall damage, All which right. is, I'm telling you this now because there are some very vertical levels later that that will actually very, be very handy. Because, like, but also this game is easier than the N64 one because you don't have to recollect everything if you die. Whereas some of the last levels, if you die, it sucks. Yeah. Even if you don't have to get the jiggies, getting the notes again sucks. <laughs> it's fine. I think you have to hit a button for that anyway. All right. I'm gonna back up from the mic. I'm just gonna watch. Casually watch. You're just gonna watch. Let's see if you can figure out all the puzzles, because there's a lot of little things to do to like open pathways. It's kind of a shame that you knew about Clanker. Because imagine not knowing that that was coming, or not having an idea that was even in the game. Yeah, that'd be like that's the thing I kind of hate about like the internet is like all those top 10 lists like this is the scariest thing in a non-horror video game and it's like all right i'd never like a lot of games i'm just experiencing through other people especially with the prices of some of them now <laughs> but i'm glad that like this game exists or this version exists Okay. I'd also recommend coming at him from the side. Like that? He does have big old chompers. Alright, so I need over here. I'll let you know. You see that pipe over there to your right? Yeah. You can swim up in there. That one? Yeah. Alright. I'll try to take care of that first. Banjo. Well, good job me for piloting Banjo like this. Okay. Alright. Now we need to take care of this one. It's a little bit too high. And there's no ledge grabbing in this game. That's a thing in 2 Do 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 do. 
Yahoo! Alright. Missed it. <sighs> yeah, um, if you automatically get, if you get pushed under, like, underneath, like, a ledge on a surface of water, it'll just put you underwater. Alright. Because it doesn't know what to do. It just says you're underwater now. And so it puts you in underwater, into underwater movement. There we go. All these, uh, science bagel experiments here on the ground. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Did you have a good did you have a good bagel breakfast? I did. You had a bagel? Yeah. I had bagels with green cheese. I had some Nutella. Green cheese. Yeah. Cream. Yeah. Alright. I think there's a joke I'm missing. What joke? That's a sci fi brand of cream cheese. Cream cheese. Alright. Alright. I don't know what to do now. Uh, I'm guessing go over here. Where um, there's... That no, was an area was... you've already been. There is that uh, area to the back. I will yeah. let you know, a lot of this level is inside of Clanker. Alright. So, then there's actually a lot of entrances. Um, I want to say one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Into Clanker? Into Clanker. I'm guessing the blowhole. That's one of them. Alright. Well, let's figure that out. Underwater. Yep. I just want to swim faster. It's usually faster to double jump in water. Yeah. To my memory. Yeah, I believe there are eight entrances into Clanker. He has so many holes. He does. Which hey. which? Oh no. All right. Oh, uh, I was gonna say, you just did it. Oh, you missed the. Uh, I'll get it. I'm just mad that I, <laughs> I did did most of that and just ate shit. There we go. I've accidentally done that once, where you just you just say screw it, you go through it, and you're perfectly fine. There's flight in this in this room. Oh no, Superman sixty four puzzles. Good thing I was half decent at that game. Should we play that game? I, I have it. I'm guessing I have to start with the green one. Yep. Just like Superman 64. How easily can you record in 64? Not. You don't have to fly for this, by the way. Um, it really depends on, like, the game... Because some N64 games, you can just emulate fine. Oh, this is time to hurry up. Others, not so much. Uh-huh. 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 I'm stupid. I mean, would you want to play them on console, or would you you would just want to emulate them? The thing is, like... I mean, it is worse on console, just because of the low frame rate, yeah. if nothing else. Because, like, part of me is just like, yeah, do it the way it's intended. But then, like, another part of me is like... You jump onto the box, and I go through those two rings. I got it. Oh, you fa I got it, though! You didn't. Here, what do you do that for? Yeah. Because I'm bad at game. If you can continue saying it whatever you are. Um, like, part of me just wants to, like, play it the way it's intended, you know, like, on original hardware. Or, like, I don't know, have some way of playing it on the original hardware. Um, but, like, the N64 is the tricky one because the system itself has a lot of issues with just video output. Um, because there is a dither effect put on, not dither, it's like... Also, there was one in the water back then. Oh, alright. That's why you didn't There's like a smearing effect on the output that's done by the system. But like, you don't get that with, um, 
emulation, so that's why like a lot of games will just look weird. Mm-hmm. And also, emulation of N64 games is difficult because the system just runs so weird depending on like what BIOS is on the chip. Because like there's three different BIOS chips in the cartridges, and depending on what you want to play, like you need that chip. Like um, when the EverDrive 64 first came out, it was a big issue because you had to take a BIOS chip off of a game. Now, if you want to play Banjo Tooie, you need the one specifically from Banjo Tooie. Otherwise, you couldn't play Banjo-Tooie and a handful of games. If you wanted to play F-Zero, you need the one from F-Zero, or you couldn't play F-Zero or a handful of games using that chip. Hmm. The most common one was the one before Banjo-Tooie. It's like, that kind of makes sense, because Banjo-Tooie was 2000, I think. It's around there, 2000, 2001. Because I, I know um, then 64's lifespan was like 96 to 2002. I think that's when we got the last game on it. Also, this is one of the entrances and exits. Is this Gills? Ah. I wouldn't have guessed that just by looking at them. I'll also let you know when the other entrance is because you probably wouldn't have guessed it, but um, his teeth. We have to knock out his teeth. Ah. His gold tooth thing. Because I knew the mouth could be one, because it's like, oh, he could just open his mouth. Um, there we go. I'm trying to think. Because, like, I could get the Ultra HDMI kit. It's not terribly expensive. I just wish there was, like, an FPGA N64. That'd be... Amazing, but we don't got one. I think somebody was working on it. I need to look into that. Um, because like, there's some FPGA NESs and Super uh, Nintendos that are like really good. Um, because they're just the hardware. Well, they're chips that are mimicking the speed of the hardware, and it works great. Uh, but I'm probably just going to get an Ultra HDMI mod. Because that's the easiest. Because N64 I don't think supported RGB out. And uh, that if it did, that mod's I think the same price. If, I know it has the same plug as the GameCube. Yeah. You can use the same things. Uh, let me look that up. Just because I don't want to be 100% wrong. Oh, you're kind of wrong. I might be. Because, like, if I can get an RGB out, it will still be good. Like, it won't be bad. All right. Uh... Because I can go from RGB to um, compo component to HDMI using the retro tank. Hey, it's dude guy. Mumbo? Not Mumbo. Bottles. Well, bottles. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a little chip you put on and you get RGB out of your N64, which is neat. You get like better quality. Um How much is that chip? So this is a really good move, by the way. Thirty-three bucks. It's not bad. 